hello and good day. I hope that this reading finds you in good health and in good spirits. My question for the cards today is, uh, it's actually the, kind of the fourth reading of the week and I normally only do three, but my question for the cards today is taking a look at what the energy is around King Charles's reign. So the reason for the extra tarot reading this week as of course every week we don't have the death of a monarch and I have got to admit I was completely surprised by my own reaction yesterday when my husband came in and told me that Queen Elizabeth had passed um, I teared up and I did not expect that I'm not a particularly a monarchist and uh, I was I was surprised by my my own reaction at hearing of her death and Certainly, like many people, I wish Charles sort of the, the best of luck. It's an antiquated system, but it's the one we've got. So, if you are one of my returning viewers and one of my wonderful subscribers, so glad you could drop into the cafe today. If you are new to this channel, my name is Kate. I love all things tarot, uh, especially political tarot, although this one doesn't exactly fall uh, directly into that bailiwick but we don't replace a king every day so or a monarch every day so I guess we can kind of play with the uh, the definitions I am once again using my jack-o-lantern tarot because I have finally got the renovations finished, but we have certainly not put this house back together again. So I think it's one of the few uh, tarot decks I actually can get lay my hands on right now. Such is life. Everything will come together. I'm going to do full 10 card reading here. And the first that we have here in uh, the subject card is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is that really juvenile, competitive energy. It's conflict, disagreements, a lot of strife, um, assertion of tensions uh, and deep-seated tensions. Certainly, I think this is a card that describes British society right now. There is that strong degree of uh, tension within the country brought about by the economic problems. Um, there is real class differences that are very, very sharp. The middle class has been hollowed out like it has been in other places around the world. Those that are poor are getting poorer and uh, the situation is getting perilous. And those that are very wealthy and well-to-do uh, have the government and the institutions of government that are kind of working for them in their behalf and uh, kind of to hell with the rest of everybody. So that is the kind of tensions that we have in conflict that's uh, within British society. And it is crossed by the magician. What a great card because this is about manifestation, success and resourcefulness using your will to bring about a smoothing. So this conflict uh, within in this deep-seated problem within British society uh, will be helped or calmed down or cooled somewhat by Charles's reign. Now, in uh, the conscious position of the surface thoughts, as I like to think of it is, we have three of wands. This is in a reverse position. And this is about limitations and obstacles. And let's face it, there is no more limiting job in the world than king because he has to keep his opinions to himself now he can't interject to things uh, politically everything is so prescribed around him um, he really almost becomes a prisoner of the state in some respects just by the office of kingship However, the undercurrent of thoughts, the subconscious thoughts, is the Queen of Cups. And this is an energy of great passion, compassion, a great deal of serenity, uh, comforting, a very nurturing kind of intuitive tension. And 
we have seen before uh, throughout his entire life Charles is a very sensitive man and so I think they've got a very compassionate nurturing and caring king on the throne how much impact he can have you know kind of behind the scenes um, and the tenor and tone of British society remains to be seen but we certainly have the raw materials here that we can work with and in the near past position we have the world card in reverse like a no kidding you know, end of one cycle and the start of another and right now it is incomplete energy that's what it means when it's reversed um, the the transition isn't finished we're still in that pause between the end of one circle and the start of the next cycle um, and that's because the queen hasn't been buried yet we're still in that transitory phase for it so there is a lack of closure and there won't be closure until her funeral um, there is a delay in things getting started and moving we have a lot of things in the UK that are suspending or postponing in order to um, honor the passing of the monarch and in the near future position we have the eight of swords in a reverse position this is about a new mentality it's about freedom and finding movement it's not being locked in you can look at the um, eight of swords when it is upright it's about this loss of freedom and restriction turn it upside down is the exact opposite the freedom to move so there is going to be a lot of changes coming up I think they'll be very subtle in British society but there are changes coming forward in the near future now how he sees himself and we have the king of wands here king of wands is a leader he's it's kind of an inspirational visionary innovative leader that has a lot of dynamicism and a lot of power associated with them now I just want to take a moment and draw your attention to the little salamander that's always on most of these RWS clone cards and I've got it circled here and the salamander salamander represents the element of fire uh, regeneration transformation for um, in medieval times we thought of uh, salamanders as being born from fire they're very much associated with it uh, for alchemists and other symbols that sort of stuff the salamander is the very spirit of fire um, they have the power to control and to manipulate fire and often it could put it out without much effort the king of wands has this kind of energy this mastery over the element of fire which of course for tarot readers is the element of action and inspiration so very very strong reading I think he can go into this reign with a great deal of confidence certainly he's had a lifetime of studying on how one is monarch how other people are going to see it ace of swords in a reverse position and this is about sort of a sense of confusion and irrationality uh, the, the clarity of thought that we think of with that goes with the ace of uh, swords is kind of pushed aside right here and what we have is overthinking and you know I really think as a person that's certainly on the outside of British life I'm Canadian you know I'm one of the people that's going here like what is this monarchy thing right it's it's irrational we shouldn't be dealing with it anymore it's anti-democracy um, so I think there is that element around here that many other people say and of course we have other Commonwealth nations are saying the same thing I, I don't know how republicanism how strong it is in the UK uh, probably not very strong this week because the emotional aspects of the Queen's passing is going to kind of quench a lot of those sentiments but like I said I have no idea how strong a feeling there is for that in the UK hopes and fears the Emperor the Emperor and this is about you know a hope card I think I think we 
have a hope that he is going to be able to provide the structure and kind of that symbolic sense of father of the nation um, brings to that role an elephant an element of dignified maturity um, and logic that comes forward from that and certainly that is one of my hopes for him and his reign and the final outcome in this reading is the wheel and the wheel of course is about cycles and we're into a new cycle for sure um, and change that's come about destiny because he was destined to be the king of England and uh, but good fortune good fortune and a positive turning point in British history so I am really hoping that this reading comes to uh, fruition because I think it's a wonderful reading to start off his reign um, the underlying energy that we have here unfortunately is the nine of Pentacles in the shadow card nine of pentacles reversed actually and this is about materialism and envy so there is that shadow element underneath this reading the energy that's kind of supporting it is this fascination and real uh, adherence to materialism and the eschewing of spiritual values which i don't think is something that charles embraces obviously he's got the wealth of the world at his fate but i suspect he is probably a spiritual man as his mother was so that's my reading for today in uh, summary i think that charles is going to have a successful reign and i certainly uh, wish him all the best as they say the queen is dead long live the king if you have a question that you would like me to put to the cards for you Certainly, by all means, drop a comment. And if you have uh, something you would like to explain a little bit more about how you're thinking about it, or you'd like to ask the question anonymously, my email address is in the box below. And feel free to drop me a line. The only caveat it is, is when I reply, it will be in a video response. I don't do private readings at this particular point in time because there's a real issue of people being ripped off and I don't want any members of this community to be subjected to that. So that's it for today. Talk to you later. Bye bye for now.